this is a moment to recognize such powerhouses amidst us. The stage is getting ready for the next segment where Capital Cafe and investment announcements will be made. Over the last few months, we've had some exciting presentations from across entrepreneurs from around 200 entries. We've shortlisted to 25 and then further mentored and brought the number down to 10. And today, parallelly, we had 10 such exciting presentations being made. And from that 10, we have chosen the some of the best entries and this is going to be in a, a time to make the announcement of Capital Cafe and also some investment announcements. In order to do those, may we have on stage Mr. Vinod Keni, Managing Partner, Indian Angel Network Alpha Fund, who is also later scheduled to speak to give a keynote address. The Magnetic Mr. Vinod Keni, welcome sir. Mr. Roshan Kainadi, Managing Director, Kainadi Plantations. He will be moderating this segment. He is also the co-founder and CEO of Zuper app, which is a mobile app that was recently launched as a platform, as a service. Welcome Mr. Roshan Kainadi. And of course, one more time, can we have Mr. Ajit Mupan on stage, please? The Chairman of MN Holdings and the immediate past President of Thai Kerala. Ajit sir, welcome. And man of the hour is Mr. Roshan. Over to you. Hi, but, uh, we at Thai Kerala have got a collective dream. That dream was to have an entrepreneur in every house in Kerala. And Thai Kerala, as you have seen, works in multiple dimensions to realize this dream. It was in the year 2018 that this initiative called Capital Cafe was started. We have an internal team, a small team, along with some of the best partners of the state, like Kerala Startup Mission, NIT TPI, Kerala Agriculture University Agri Business Incubator, TIMED, which is an uh, incubation center focused on medtech, healthcare and medtech, then uh, Maker Village, uh, this year we got one more addition, Kerala Institute of Entrepreneurship Development is also our partner. So collectively we work together. And probably the success of Thai Kerala and Capital Cafe is that we could bring together all the important stakeholders in the system to work together with a common dream, common vision. See, uh, in fact, we have with us today Mr. Vinod Kenny, who was uh, one of the uh, founder directors of Indian Angel Network. Vinod Kenny is the managing partner of uh, partner of Indian Angel Network Alpha Fund, an early stage VC fund. So uh, uh, he is one person who has been investing in the startup ecosystem from 1996 onwards. Probably one of the most senior most person, and as a person who has been investing from that time onwards, I'm sure he'll have insights or suggestions or na, ways or, or, or insights that, that can definitely help startup promoters and entrepreneurs. So over to you Vinod, you please share your thoughts. In fact, Vinod was there today morning with us listening to the 10 pitches our uh, shortlisted startups made today. So he'll also be selecting, in fact, uh, we had requested him to shortlist three of the best startups to be honored and recognized on the stage. Over to you, Vinod. Roshan and uh, good afternoon, everybody. I know it's Saturday afternoon, right after lunch. Uh, so I'll try and keep this uh, as engaging as I can. No, no, this is... Um, so, you know, I, I think thanks to Thai Kerala for inviting me here and, and I saw some amazing startup pitches today. So, one thing I'm very optimistic and very happy about is the entire entrepreneurial and startup ecosystem that is continuing to develop here in Kerala. Um, I have been coming to Kerala for a few years now. Uh, of course, you know, COVID, there was a break. Um, and I have been interacting both with um, entrepreneurs, um, investors, of course, you know, most of the investors here tend to be from outside of the state. Uh, and then of course also a lot of the other ecosystem players, uh, KSM for example, 
people from within NASCOM that has done a fair amount of work in this and other accelerators and incubators as well. Uh, so one thing that I would, I'm very happy to see is the progress uh, with the way the whole ecosystem is developing and the quality of entrepreneurs uh, who are also now starting to come out uh, and actually build businesses. So I think that requires a, a big round of applause and I think you all need to pat yourselves on the back for that. Um, you know, interestingly, there are a lot of out-of-box thinking uh, when it comes to ideas and concepts. And I think that's one thing, of course, part of that comes from naivety and part of it comes from just being overly optimistic. Uh, but it's good to actually see that because I think that's, that's part of how a, an ecosystem also develops, right? We want to see a fair number of these absolutely crazy radical ideas uh, coming out and taking shape as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy to see the progress, happy to see the quality, uh, the way some of them uh, were able to pitch to us, the confidence with which they had, um, had really gone out and uh, uh, sort of thought about their whole idea or the, or the startup in itself. Uh, a few observations. I, I think you know, having seen startups in other parts of the of the world as well as in other parts of India, um, you know, a few things that really stand out. One is, of course, there's still passion. But I think we, as startups, and especially startups here in Kerala, uh, we need you need to start thinking even bigger. I think the world is your stage, and the world is your market. And in a dynamic environment that we currently operate in, where we are all interconnected, um, there's a fairly huge opportunity for products and services that are being developed in, in India and Indian mar in, and, and in particularly in places like Kerala, which can actually go into the global markets as well. So think big uh, and think you know beyond Kerala or even beyond beyond the country. The second is the fact that also think big from the perspective of capital as well um, and that goes back to the fact that you know some of these are not going to be really fundable in an early stage uh, so I think what it also requires is grit and determination uh, so that's something that I think that also has to get developed and it's starting to develop now so don't give up um, there will definitely be hiccups, there will definitely be drawbacks uh, and I think that's that's one thing that I want to uh, leave behind. The third, uh, which is a very quick observation, is I would love to see more local participation of investors in these startups and in the entrepreneurial ecosystem here in uh, Kerala. Um, look, I'm, I'm from outside of Kerala and I, I, I travelled from, from Bombay um, and I would like to see a lot more, and I know there is a there is an active and a growing group of angel investors who are starting to invest into startups here. But I would like to see more local participation, which could potentially be coming from uh, other other successful businesses, large corporate houses that could potentially get into being, you know, VCs themselves, or also participate in other VC funds, uh, and to generally look at it in supporting the ecosystem. Two, you're supporting an ecosystem which also has significant impact, right? You're essentially creating more jobs and more opportunities. But three, what it also does is it creates strategic initiatives. A lot of these companies could potentially be partners for, for some of these larger corporate houses for the products and services. They could potentially end up being acquisition targets. They could actually help build new lines of business for some of these companies as well. So think about it from that perspective and plus of course the returns you want when these companies become successful you want the returns to stay in Kerala and uh, by investing uh, into some of these companies uh, I think that that's going to start happening and I sort of urge you to, to think about it from that perspective as well. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to use the, the podium. Like I said um, they were, there was a very interesting and an amazing group of entrepreneurs of pitch today. Um, the passion, the thought um, was fairly top class. And I was impressed and it, it was a fairly, I would say, a, a difficult task for us to really think of, you know, which ones. Because we all, always felt like all the top of, all the top ten or the ten that actually presented 
were winners. But um, within those, uh, without any going to any particular order, we have picked three that we would like to recognize today. Um, Banzan Studios. You know, I'm sure they would love to receive the memento from you. Being, being a very senior person in the Next, can I call Femi Se? Femi Se. Next, can I call Ben Lycos? them demonstrated what I really liked about right the fact that they had thought through on the product the differentiators within the product the go-to-market um, commercial viability which is very important to me um, as an investor you know you you just can't build a product for the sake of the product uh, and actually addressing a need in the market so and they were also able to articulate this uh, well of course all of them did uh, but within those 10 that we actually saw, uh, you know, the three of them actually uh, were ones that I liked and I thought you know, def definitely needed to be mentioned. There was one which um, I'm going to mention which uh, was also something very special and that was um, Phonologics. And part of the reason is Phonologics is in my opinion, and, and, I'll, and I'll preface what I'm going to say with, um, you know, a caveat. You know, investing is a very subjective issue, right? It's beauty in the eyes of the beholder. I may, I may like a certain deal and say, I'm going to invest in a bunch of us may say, but there's going to be a bunch of other investors will say, nah, it's, it's nothing great, right? So you're always going to have that, especially in a, in a early stage startup environment that you are actually uh, sort of investing in. So, please come. So in that situation, um, one of the companies that actually stood out for the fact that the sheer passion and the need that actually exists in the market and what she was actually building, and a lot of them can also have a social impact. Uh, one of them was Phonologics and uh, Congratulations. So I just want to highlight uh, and mention and give some special consideration to her as well. Thank you. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. From 2018, we as a team had been building a thing called Capital. And uh, this year, in fact, after the second round of uh, screening, uh, one positive, very positive note which came out of Ajit who was present was that the quality of startups have really, really improved. And uh, I still remember, I think it was in 2019, we had Shivashankar and uh, Saji Gobina as our guests for Capital Cafe. And they said, in fact, one question they asked openly to all of us was, why are you not investing? You are, you are mentoring, you are doing this and all that. But there has to be skin in the game and only then it will improve. And probably that, that recommendation was what triggered the making of Kerala Angel Network. And today, thanks to Ajit, 
who, when, in fact, for so many years we had been discussing this, but thanks to Ajit, it was during his time that Kerala Agent Network really, really took off. And uh, Ajit has got some announcements to make, funding announcements. Over to you, Ajit. Good afternoon, everyone. All right, so, uh, well, it's not a, I won't take a solo credit in uh, getting this up and running. Uh, this was originally, uh, KL IG Networks was formed in the year Rajesh Nair, uh, but he did not, you know, for various reasons, you know, find traction. So, in 2019, end of MSA's term, I took this up and uh, 2021, we made uh, some, uh, you know, made great progress. We are 55 members strong now. I would like to, you know, share the credits with my uh, management committee colleagues. Uh, please stand up uh, and re we recognize Rajesh Nair if you are here, uh, uh, Ravindra Kamath and Roy. Would you, would you mind standing up and give them a round of applause? Both of them are part of Capital Cafe also right from day one. So uh, I'll just uh, we 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 have all together now made the last two plus years uh, we have made we have facilitated investment of 19 plus crores. I'm proud to say, uh, together with uh, co-investment of certain other uh, networks as well. Uh, so I just uh, quickly run through. I have very uh, strong eyes from the president uh, for the <laughs> for time control. So I'll breeze through the you know certain deals that we've done. Uh, one is uh, chili pepper kitchen. Yeah, so they are the food and beverage segment. It's a cloud kitchen service based on a trivandrum. We raised around of 2.5 CR. Jimon Kora is the lead investor. Jimon is uh, uh, currently uh, so he's, he's the CEO of Cancor uh, and. Uh, is also, you know, holding office as uh, CII chair. So he's he's playing a you know a pivotal role in you know leading this uh, investment. Uh, and three of us have made sizable investment in this, and then uh, the others have joined. I won't get into the details. So the, the terms, the uh, apart from term sheet, uh, you must understand the share subscription and share subscription and shareholders agreement has been signed on 30th November. Okay, so this is a real, real deal investment. <laughs> investment two is, uh, yeah. sorry, yeah. Cooked Ventures Private Limited, they are in the media and D2C space. Uh, so their pro product uh, says, uh, provides a complete cooking experience and ready to cook products through the Cook app. Uh, so we participated in this, you know, uh, in uh, November 2021, and this is a follow-on round, uh, certain with a new set of investors, and uh, we are taking part in the preemptive rights deal. So I'm very uh, elated to share that the valuation from last November to this now December one plus year has gone uh, gone up three x times. So that's something to. Uh, Mr. Binodkini is giving me a quizzical look. Uh, look, talk about 30x, no, no, 3x. <laughs> that, that's a good start. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, and then the number four is uh, <clears throat> okay. One more word I need to share with Cook this. You know, we are as yes, investors, <clears throat> we not only you know participate in funding. You know, some of our uh, investors, uh, especially Aju Jacob of Sinside and uh, Jimon Kora, again uh, has been. You know, guiding them throughout and helping them develop products and everything. There's a lot, a big support uh, from the ecosystem they're, they're, they're getting. All right, going to the next one is uh, Tutti Fruity Interactive, uh, the gaming sector, a gaming platform, a unique one with an emphasis on women, women centric content. And this uh, round size is uh, 1.91 uh, uh, crore. The lead investor, Ravindra Kamats. I'll quickly. <coughs> The, the fourth one is Foo Foods Private Limited. Yeah, 
It's a very recent one. We just turned, uh, signed the term sheet here. Very recent, the most recent one, 24th 11th, we concluded the round in, in a, just in two days. It was filled up. The small size, of course, 0.7 uh, Shia. Their uh, lead investor is Mohammed, uh, sorry, Mohammed Farzad. And, uh, so, this is, uh, I think, the number four deal. Let's give a round of applause to all the investors. Not to Thank you. Just particularly, in fact, uh, he had gone through a lot of pain to speed up the whole process, especially in four foods and all that. Anyway, uh, the, the work that we have been carrying on for the last so many years have definitely started producing results which are, which are recognized around the country in the investor community. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let us continue. Thank you very much. I request Mr. Vinod to please accept a gift hamper from our end as a thank you. I request the chairs here to present the gift hamper. Thank you very much, Vinod sir, for your time and for your meticulous evaluation of the entries and for your encouragement. This was quite a heartening segment on its own.